Welcome back everyone, it's Friday again, rookie time. This week, second part of painting of Lion. Um, like you saw last week, I mentioned a few mistakes and uh, things like this. Let's get started. After priming everything in black, and it apply on the base um, brown color. I don't remember which brown is it. I'll pop all colors on the screen because I don't remember the names. It's too many of them. Um, so I did base color to the ground with the brown color. Then I used this uh, other gray for the concrete. Of the you know the pieces of the ruins. So I use the grey to cover the pieces of the ruins. I feel like the grey should be a bit darker from the beginning. I'll have to check up with my paint why I got and I will check and uh, I will research online which one is the best for the concrete ruins and things like that. After painting the base coat paints on the base, I added a base coat of Abidon Black all over the miniature and the sub-assembly pieces, just to make sure it's the same quality of the paint, which will be layering up, and to also to just uh, cover all any mistakes or missed spots from the can. Um, like I said, I did a mistake, which I did realize later on in painting, that I shouldn't have assembly whole uh, cape, because uh, that was just simply un unbelievably hard to actually get to all the places. I should carry the cape on separate sub-assembly, it would be much easier. After that, uh, I, was st I started from the shield, because on that day uh, I didn't have much time. Like you can see, all the footage is not really sharp, uh, because I was so excited to actually start, I didn't actually check everything on the camera settings, and I was using manual lens, and <laughs> yeah when you're painting things like this, it's not actually easy to keep in one place. So I basically go with the red, covering the red. After the red, I was basing the retributor armor on the gold parts, and the silver one as well, because later on I changed for like dark silver parts, like the snake, which uh, 
is uh, some details, like, like on artbox. Some details like on artbox and they change for the silver later on. Um, like I said, the quality of the footage is really bad, but I didn't want to just cut it to five minutes to show you finished miniature and say like, oh, okay, done. So I'm trying to show you guys here. I will be, you should, you should see some pictures as well, like the, some of parts. I didn't take all pictures of each separate part, uh, but this is something for next time. Definitely I will be double checking everything and I think I will use the autofocus lens definitely for it. That was my first try on the gem painting as well so hopefully it is visible it is actually look some around this <laughs> what I was trying to achieve Um, after I did add the uh, gold retributor to the shoulder parts and steel parts, you know, like shoulder parts and uh, sword as well. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm really sorry for that footage. One of the mistakes which you can't undo after painting the miniature, you actually can't redo it. I really like the Alion. I think it's one of the best all, all standing at the moment, which things which I did it. Put the paint on the gold parts on all over around which I was doing because I was doing like section by section. I think it came up uh, really really nice. Now you can see the sword, um, on which I was trying to achieve the power surge as well. So with the wide paint, I was trying all over around, you know, put the white on the rays, bolts of the power sword, and then power surging around. And after that, I was uh, covering with the different tones of different color of blue-ish to actually get this like steel effect hope you guys see this it's, it's not bad and I, I think like the, for, for the first try it's a little okay I would definitely have to uh, find on uh, eBay some pieces of uh, figurines like swords and things like this and start maybe just trying out to paint different way like power swords, flame swords And I was doing power lines on the sword. 
I was trying to like do the one line and then on exactly the same spot you have to run this route with another line so that would like build up layer by layer and just stand up. After all this I did start uh, painting the cake and I did <laughs> For like two seconds, I didn't know which color I should go with. Uh, we go with the uh, Zandari dust or with the uh, Raidbone, but I think Raidbone was like way too bright. After some time, when the Raidbone will uh, dry out, I did with the Zandari dust, and that's the, that was the problems in the big escape. I think in 150% should be sub assemble because. Uh, because I was copying so many details underneath, that was unbelievable. But uh, like I said, this is something which I will definitely know for the future. If there will be any character with things like this. Yeah, for inner cape I use the workstone glow. However, I got this uh, from Valeo. Oh, anyway, I guess I will post the colors later on. And uh, <coughs> and yeah, I think I, one mistake I did later on, I just unnecessarily put it on the top of this. I think I think it's one of the mistakes. Actually, you know, it looks good. Doesn't doesn't uh, look so bad. The color is matching with the cape, with the full cape. Well, I'll be thinking about uh, maybe fixing some mistakes definitely in the future. So. I don't know, that would be like quite difficult to well, we'll have to take it off like shield or something. Well yeah, I will do it because it'll be better. After finishing the cape from both sides, when I will start finishing all the other parts of the sub assemblies. So I got like the watchers, which like you can see they are separate from the things which they was carrying on. Watchers I did actually in kind of slap chop because I had this nice um, burgundy contrast paint. So I decided because they had like nice rays. Uh, but they like wood folds and things like this so I did like dry brush and then I added the bourbon con contrast and uh, I have to say this looks actually good with it drying out uh, with drying out it's a bit, no problem here in UK because the temperatures are crazy to the roof so in some places I'll start uh, after everything I'll start assembling the parts and yeah it came out actually really good I'm actually happy with it. like I said uh, when I was assembling I did find many things which I could actually do it better if I would have better equipment um, definitely, I think uh, I, f I feel like airbrush. It's uh, one of the ways to go with 
will help like base coating, will help like um, smoothness of everything. I feel like definitely because the creaminess of the under into the cake will be much much better. I'm looking at the model. <laughs> Um, also, I did magnetize the heads at the moment I got two of them done. I did paint all of them, but just two of them at the moment that they are done. Um, I did magnetize the head, the face head, and the head. And the normal head and the helmet. I really like the helmet. The helmet is sick. Like I mentioned earlier as well, I prefer Space Marines and all the soldiers in the helmets. But, I'm not saying, actually, this face looks really good, I like it as well. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, this is something different than everyone's doing, but I wanna just talk about it. You know how, how I'm doing, what I'm doing. Um, if you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. Um, I will reply as soon as possible. So today it's Friday, the Leviathan is in the shops tomorrow, we will see how it goes with its deliveries from Game Workshop. I got one box secured, so thanks to my sponsor, which is my wife. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope uh, I hope we'll enjoy all of us if you guys are doing Le Leviathan as well. The 10th edition look nice from the things which I'm watching around and reading all the articles it's it's exciting it's exciting i mean to build up some ruins because in the moment i don't have any And now you can see the lion himself. As with the helmet, and as with the face. 
I really like the face, honestly. It's like very majestic face. That's the shoulder pads. I power sword. I hope you can see something there. Anyway, guys, I would be really, really appreciate if you leave any comments about what you saw today. If um, if I'm heading in good direction, that would be really good. And thank you for watching. I really, really hope you liked. And if you did like, please um, help me. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let's uh, do this YouTube thing, which apparently is helping to us uh, grow. Um, yeah, anyway, anyone who is already subscribed, thank you very much for watching me again. And I'm, um, like I said, I hope I'm heading in a good direction for you guys. And um, if yes, please let me know. If no, don't hesitate. I, I really want to grow, but if someone is doing something wrong and nobody will tell him, he will be still doing the same. The wrong thing. So, I'll see you next week. Take care.